Welcome to Pastor's Chat today. Well, we're in Revelations chapter 20. At the end of chapter 19, Jesus Christ comes back with his saints from heaven and sets up his kingdom. And in the first verses of chapter 20, Satan is bound for a thousand years. Then we saw that the millennial reign of Christ took place where Jesus rules the earth in a perfect way under his law and yet people still need to be saved that are born in the millennial reign of Christ and at the very end Satan is released for a short period of time deceives these people that never truly trust Christ and they seek one more time to destroy Jesus and his kingdom Satan's final revolt as we said yesterday but at that point Jesus takes, it says actually a half a verse, and fire comes from heaven and devours them. There in verse uh, 10. And so uh, verse 9, and then in verse 10, the devil who deceived them is cast into the lake of fire where the beast and the false prophet are, and they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. Uh, some people teach the annihilation of the soul after the end time comes. That's it. Uh, no more punishment. Uh, it's over, and uh, there's only eternity for those who go to heaven. But my friend, that's not what the Bible teaches. It teaches that hell, the lake of fire, is a place of torment, and it will be forever and ever and ever. Matter of fact, Jesus spoke more about hell and final judgment than he did about heaven. And so it's very important that we understand some things as we look at these final verses of chapter 20, which would be actually the final judgment of God, which is called the great white throne judgment. And we'll talk about it for several days. And so he says in verse 11, then I saw a great white throne and him who sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, standing before God, and books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged according to their works by the things which were written in the books. The sea gave up the dead who were in it, and death and Hades delivered up the dead who were in them, and they were judged, each one according to his works. Then death and Hades were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And who anyone who was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Now, as I understand Scripture in its totality, God never prepared hell for human beings. Matter of fact, in Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 11, Say to them as I live, says the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his evil way and live. Turn you, turn you from your evil ways, for why will you die, O house of Israel? God has no pleasure in those who would perish and go into a Christless eternity. Hell is a very real place. Hell is no joke. Now, as I understand Scripture, in the, the Old Testament, Sheol was the place of the dead, the abode of the dead. That's where people, when they died, they went to Sheol. Now, Sheol was divided into two compartments. One side of it was paradise. The other side was Hades, the fireside. Luke 16, Jesus told about the rich man who died, and he lifted up his eyes, being in torments. He went to the hell side. He looked across the gulf that was in between, and he saw Lazarus, the beggar, in paradise, in Abraham's bosom. And he cried out, for Abraham, he cried out for Abraham, he cried out for Father Abraham, send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue for I am tormented in this flame, is a place of real flame. That is hell. Now, when we come to Revelations chapter 20, we find a different place because hell gives up the dead that are in it 
and they are cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. So there is a place prepared called the lake of fire where finally devil and uh, the false prophet and beast are already there and then hell will be emptied, stand before God in a final judgment, and then those people will be cast into the lake of fire forever. And this is the second death. Now we'll be talking more details about this, but my friend, God loves you. You do not have to go to hell. God doesn't send people to hell. People go there because they choose to reject Jesus Christ as their Savior. Today, trust Him and be saved. God bless, and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.